What is up, mortals? Dan Anker one here, and welcome to another week of Cage Six's Cash Stash locations. This week we're going to be on Titan, and uh, most of these are in pretty easy to reach locations. There were a few that uh, they got a bit confusing. They're a bit of a roundabout, but we'll get to them when we get to them. Anyway, starting it off here, we have one pretty much just off spawn, off the initial spawn. You'll see it's off to the side here. And what you're going to want to do is just turn 180 degrees around from where the uh, the spider walker encounter is and just follow this tube. That's not too much to actually do here. You just follow the tube and you can see the glow of it here. And Obviously, I've got this hunter chasing me here, but I don't know where he's going or if he's going for it. But you're just going to want to jump off the side and the chest's waiting there for you. So not too bad. Pretty easy one to start it off with. Moving on to the second one here, we have seen this one again, uh, but it's going to be part way between the bridge that you cross to get between the two major settlements. So you're going to want to make your way onto the bridge, just cut a little bit off the trip there, just because uh, video purposes, you don't want it to be too long. But instead of walking out this left door here, you're going to want to continue around and it's going to be tucked in here behind all of the crates. Obviously a lot easier to see that it's glowing. But that's the second chest for this week. Moving on to the third chest here. This is another one we've seen. Uh, it's not too far from the other one. Obviously, the other one was on the bridge. But you're going to want, you're going to, you're going to want to make your way around. And just instead of turning right to go over this bridge, you're going to want to keep going straight. And it's hidden right underneath these stairs. So far, so good. We're doing pretty well. This next one, however, is where it gets a little bit difficult. So we're moving on to the fourth chest here. And it's just a little bit further across that bridge that we didn't cross to the right of that last one. Obviously, it's in the, uh, the, new, the newer area here. And you don't really spend much time over here. No public events, no nothing. But basically, just follow the path all the way through. Don't get confused. It's not in this room here. You actually want to gonna gonna want to clear out all of the ads from this room, which I did prior, uh, or just run straight past them. Come back down, move down through here. There'll be doing there'll be more ads as you go, and there's this one ad here, and I I completely whiff. Thank you, uh, Destiny. But just over the top of this, against the glass panes here, you'll find the fourth chest. Finally reaching the fifth chest here. This one actually had me going for a good 10 minutes. I had no idea where this was. I don't know if it's me just being oblivious or anything, but you're going to want to head in this way as if you were going to uh, the Sa uh, Savathun Song Strike, I'm pretty sure. It might be this one or it might be the other side. Um, but you're just going to want to follow this through and don't go all the way around. You actually, once you come to this first set of gates, you're going to want to slow down, pass through them, and if you look to your left, there's going to be a few like indents, and you can just see the glow here, and it's hidden in behind here. Obviously, it's a very, very cheeky location, and it had me going for quite a while. So that's a cheeky chest there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. It helps other people find the content as well. Good luck this week, and I'll catch you guys out there.